are headed to the airport and we are picking up three of the most important people in my life. Sasha fierce the f out of this and I'm gonna receive it. Can I hold your camera? <laughs> I get it. Oh. <laughs> so I have been working with JR Ward for almost two years. The first meeting I had with her, my first week on the job, it was just like, it was electric. And I always joke with her, like, you know, I heard stories about this event and I heard you tell me about the event, but I did not understand the scope of it until I'm standing there and I'm like, oh my God, it's like the Beatles showed up. Kind of like a superstar to us, but she's also like a friend. Oh, it is like a party. She is so good with the fans, and like, you can't teach that. Either you have that or you don't, and she has it. She works the crowd, she interacts with you and she's just down to earth. J.R. Ward is such a fantastic speaker. Like, when we saw her last year, I mean, she never stays still. And she's so much fun, and the F-bombs are great. Can you believe we're doing this? Is it crazy up there? Uh, it's pretty, uh, it's definitely energetic, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> This event is way bigger than last year, which I'm so, so jazzed about. And J.R. Ward, every year, is like, I wanna up the ante. She really wants to make it, so it's like, it's something you've never seen before. I've been so excited. Super excited. Really excited. So excited. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I can't wait to see what the next book. I wanna know whose book is next. What is this woman about to do to this world that we're so invested in? I'm like shivering with anticipation over here. I'm going to tell you a little bit of story. Back in 2005, I went into a bookstore and I saw this black and red book on the shelf called Dark Lover. That book changed my life. It brought me a family. It brought me friends. It brought me my sister from another mister. <laughs> uh, and it brought me here with all of you. And you all feel the same way, I'm sure, with the friendships that you've formed. Uh, and everything. So, J.R. Ward is not only my favorite author, she's my best friend, and she's the sister I never had. And without further ado, I'd love to introduce her to you. Welcome, J.R. Ward. God, there's some shit in that room. Uh, so uh, I just want to thank everyone coming for Lassiter. And uh, for those of you who are new, welcome to the party, bitches. And the way we usually do this is, oh, by the way, a reminder in case, you know, this is being filmed so that we can finally broadcast it for people who can't get here. 
So um, we usually just take, I don't know, questions and answers for about two hours, and it's a f***ing dumpster fire. So <laughs> I am going to take off my jacket. Hold on. Hang on Can a I second. Have... Ladies, I golden girls. Thank you for being a friend. you're kind of a I <laughs> thank you. I greatly appreciate that. You certainly pa paid me the highest compliment. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. But um, I do have to bring your attention back to Fritz for okay. just a moment. Now, back in Saratoga, we said that we would like a older oh, romance. Yeah, no. And then I don't want to see Fritz naked, no offense. <laughs> I, I, I don't need to see that. It happened. Um, during the interview with Jim Fragione, you said a mock-up would be nice. Right. So we went ahead and oh, did one for you. Dear. God. Oh my God. Lover unsmudged. So, I love this. We love you. Oh, I love you guys you so much. This is, this is and pretty much one very outspoken to a very outspoken, beautiful woman. Thank you. I, I like to think of myself as a c too. <laughs> so, um, oh, sorry. So, um, you, well, we fucked the first question. Uh, so, usually, there is a question that is asked at the big. I'm, I'm, I'm drawn to the feathers. Okay. There's a, a whole, oh, the leggings and the sneakers are even better than the feathers. By the way, like, I was coming up the stairs, and there was all these, like, feathers all the, all the way up the stairs. I was like, mm, yeah, J.R. Ward brings good things to life. <laughs> have fun with your Hoover. Um, so anyway, do you have a question to ask me by any chance? Who's the next book? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm not allowed to run. <laughs> So I, I've been given strict instructions to cut the shit with the running. So I'm going to be walking like this all, all thing. Okay. We so are so the, proud of you. What? <laughs> See, I am trainable. Okay, so the next book in the Black oh shit on uh, the Black Tiger Brotherhood series comes out next April in 2020. Four, and I have a question for all of you. Are there any Zadist fans? <laughs> Music to my ears. So, um, has anyone actually read the book? Uh, yeah. Okay. So for those of you who haven't read Laster yet, I'm not gonna give away any spoilers. <laughs> She's like this. Have a mic. <laughs> um, so, um, how to give away without spoil? I can't. So, f it. You came. You're gonna get a spoiler. So, what is the name of Zadist's daughter? Okay. And what does Nala stand for in? The old language. Oh my God, wouldn't that make a great title of a book? The Beloved. <laughs> Featuring Nala and her hero. 
Because remember, we aren't, we're, we're now ahead now. And um, so yeah, so she gets to bring someone home. And the opening line of the book is, you don't want to touch that if you want your balls to stay where they are. <laughs> and I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so now, okay, Michelle, do you have a question? I do. You have a tattoo on your t <laughs> And I, I, don't, I don't go that way, but it's a little bit hard to, I mean... <laughs> I've, I've never had that much real estate to do anything with, so. <laughs> okay, well, let's. Okay. First of all, I was gonna ask for the jacket back when you killed Rath. <laughs> but, but. Did you not think that was not coming out? <laughs> Keep reading, it gets better. <laughs> I, I just wanted to offer her a little support and I wanted to do it quickly. <laughs> what is the significance with the 33 years, nine months, three, we three weeks, nine hours. Keep reading. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, she's looking like she would take me over her fucking knee. You know I'm not that easy. Oh my God, you have tufts on your toes. You know, that's some only fan toe porn right here. <laughs> you need to charge for that <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Okay. I would like you to meet Duncan. I would like you to meet Duncan. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I think for interviewing purposes for the upcoming. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Duncan, I would like to offer you a blanket apology <laughs> for what the f is going to happen to you when you stand up, take this mic, and introduce yourself. Everyone, let's meet Duncan. <laughs> Uh, hi guys, my name is Duncan Hoffman. <laughs> uh, uh. Do you want me to get on the stage? All right, get on the stage. Hi, oh, Duncan! <laughs> this, this, this some he's worth seeing, I'm just saying. Oh boy. So, uh, my name is Duncan Hoffman. I'm, uh, I'm 22. I'm a teacher. Um, <laughs> well, kind of. Um, I'm here with my mom. She's the one. Yeah, my mom's the one who got me into these books. Um, she's, she's right there in the fifth row in blue. I cannot believe I just made motion things around your son's butt. I, I, would, I would like to apologize. Um, my mother is over here. Mom, mom, would you like to meet Duncan's mom? <laughs> my, my, my mother did the best she could, uh, you know. Um, well, I'm, I've always been a big fan of the books. I don't know if that's allowed. I mean, I think that would be fitting for Lassiter, but, uh, well, uh, I've always been a big fan of the books, and when you said that they were gonna make be a TV show from it, for it, uh, I got my friend who's a really good photographer. I don't have my phone on me. Um, I think one of them took it back there. No, I pictures they're, they're right there. I can show you right now. Um, I just come, I'll just come grab them. I, wa I was a college athlete for four years, too, so I'm... I'm, I'm like, Liella, well, yeah, get his pictures. She said, yes, I absolutely will. So we did one at Fury. Oh, that's great. 
and then did a few for Fury. Oh, that's worth seeing. And then we did some for Rage. Yeah. And, and then we tried one with Sin. We're still messing around with Sin's cover. Oh. <laughs> Uh, do I have to run back there to give it to the camera? All right, give her your contact info. So okay. We'll hook you up, we'll hook you up awesome. with Tosca. Thank you. Please. Please. Awesome. It's on. It's on. It's on. Hello? Okay. Oh, my God. So I thought that him being a teacher was the worst it was going to get, but his mother being in the audience really capped it. Anyway, so, yeah, what do we think? Is he a good brother? Okay. Tosca, we have someone who needs to talk to you. Yep. Thanks. Thank you Thanks. Hi, hi, Mom. Uh, I just want to let you know that I love you, my readers, for so many reasons. Not only the fact that you let me work at home with my coffee pot and my dog, or that like you're super supportive. We are going to run this son of a bitch. We're going to run this son of a bitch right into a wall. Uh, <laughs> but the fact that, but the fact that <laughs> from this corner of the room, a shrill of, take your shirt off. I'm like, my tribe, my people. These are my people. OK, anything, anyone? Bueller? OK, yes, you. All right, here, can you pass this down to her, please? I don't actually have a question, but I do have a gift for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you. May I open it after the event? Thank you. Does anyone have a question? Yes. Oh, yes. So actually, I just wanted to thank you because of your books. I met my sister from another mister. Oh, yay. Um, there is a third one, and between the three of us, we have been through marriage, divorce, death of our children, um, and she's my best friend now, so. Good people. I would. I, okay, so she said, "Would you like to see my tattoo?" And she goes like this, and I'm thinking, "Okay, I'm game. Sure." Oh, it's in the back. Oh wow! Oh, she has her name in the old language. That's very cool. No. She's like, doesn't know what it says. F off. No. <laughs> what was it? Zadist. Oh, it says Zadist. All right. Well, then you're gonna like the beloved for sure. Yes. How do you pronounce D-O-G-G-E-N? Doggin. Doggin. D-O-G-G-N. You in green. I'm feeling green. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, first of all, what did Fritz <laughs> do to you? Because you tortured that poor thing. <laughs> and spoiler, um, are we going to get his reunion with Wrath? So, so I don't kill anyone. I, 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 I Will's Wellsy was not my fault. Uh, I did not do. So I have these Rice Krispies that live in my. And she's like, "Fuck the Rice Krispies." Um, so yes, I would love to actually give you that moment. Um, and I think what I want to do is use the email list as an opportunity to write some vignettes like that that don't really like fit into the larger books, but are still stories that I want to tell. So yeah, absolutely. Yep. Um. How did you decide to go with passion flicks? Oh, that's, that's such a really good question. Um, so passion flicks, a lot of people um, approach me about turning the Black Dagger Brotherhood into some, some TV or movie or whatever. And I always said that getting the right partner was really important. And um, Tosca gave me script approval. And, and casking approval, Duncan. Uh, so um, I, I believe in going into business with people that like you vibe, like, I hate the word vibe, but like you vibe with, right? And I just had an instant connection with her and I trusted her because like, look, I don't want to f myself in the ass with this. Like, I don't want to have like something hit where it's like, like she wants to follow the books so succinctly that each book will have three episodes. So she's gonna, so it's, it's going to be like, and one of the things that there's like some iconic lines, like 
welcome to the world of jealousy and blah, 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 and like some other things. And I'd like to see those actually spoken on screen. So TOSC is actually coming uh, to Louisville in about three weeks. And so we're going to start the process of, 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 well, she's already outlined the first 11 books and she's got an idea and stuff. And so we're going to start, we're going to start cruising on this. So I, I'm pretty excited. It could, hello. Oh, there's a lot of zebra going on. Um, not a question, just a comment. Thank you for making the fuck word just so accessible for people <laughs> everywhere for girls that, and the <laughs> waffle. I love, I love using these and you've just made it so classy that, that women can now just drop the fuck word and it's just like, yeah, okay, that's good. I, I, I now feel so vindicated for my nasty, nasty language. Um, I have a daughter and I've often told my daughter, you know, okay, listen, I don't give a shit what you say. I was like, just don't do it around other grown-ups so I look like an asshole. <laughs> like, if you want to go terrorize your, your friends, hello. So, mine is kind of a two-parter. Um, so, the first part was, I noticed uh, way back at the beginning of the series that um, you gave the scribe virgin a name. Annalise. Yes. That seems significant to me. Why would you name a semi-background character? <laughs> and are we going to possibly see her get an HEA because fuck, she had to deal with the blood letter. She deserves a little happiness. I totally agree. Okay, so um, I didn't give her a name. That was the name that just like, when I, was, when I was, so the way it works is I see the scenes in my head and I just transcribe them, okay? And so that was the name that Rath spoke at her, so I don't know why that's her name. Yes, she needs to get banged, okay? <laughs> that, like, like, that is a woman who needs, so she's not gone entirely, but I think that you're gonna, because remember, we've made a time jump now. Because here's the thing, like, what, what why the time jump? I I don't know, talk to them. I just, they do shit. I type for a living and then we all come here, drop the F-bomb 700 times, <laughs> and then go, peace, we're out, and leave. That's all I know. I, I, I don't, I have no dominion over any of this stuff. So here's the thing, I, like I, it's not that I, I look, I'm not gonna live forever. No one's gonna live forever, okay? So I'm thinking the thing that I wanna do before something happens or whatever, is I wanna write the love stories of the kids, okay? So there's at least six or seven books, and the, the world hasn't changed very much in Caldwell over the 33 years, okay? So Damina and Lash are still around, they are still shit up, and like, you know, the, the brothers all survived, everyone's still alive, and now Wrath has been inserted into that timeline. So, I want to make sure that I can complete the cycle of the first six books, which is, because those are like the core books that the readership, like, ha, you know, something, like, if, if this series ends without everyone knowing that the children of these people are safe and adult and have relationships and that the family's complete, I just don't want to go out without having written that. Because there's like all sorts of stories in my head that I haven't written down. And I'm like, no, I, and I have to think, like I'm 54 years old now, right? So like, yeah. I, I love you. I don't know you, but yes. Well, I'm very grateful. I am 54, and I just want to make sure. So that's the reason why we did the. T that's the reason, mother. Why we did the time jump? Not that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's. This is why I love my readers. She's like, like this. <laughs> it was about to happen. So um, yes, I could totally see Annalise getting an HEA in this new world, and I'm so sorry that I just flipped you the bird. <laughs> yell at her every year. Do I really yell at you every year? Yeah, but then you touch me and it makes it all better. Oh, right. <laughs> do you have a, this one's like, yeah, you yell at her every year. Like how out of a sea of a thousand people do I find you? It's just, it's fate. It's fate. <laughs> She's like, it's just our relationship. Yeah. Hey. Hey, I got a two-parter. First of all, I want to say thank you for this fabulous picture last year oh, when yeah. you weren't supposed to be doing selfies. I love uh, secondly, my question is, I know people ask you all the time about republishing the first six books, and your answer is always the same about... Wait. I have an update. 
Okay. Okay. So the question has to do with republishing the first six books. And I have found an avenue for bringing Dark Lover out again in hardcover. Yeah. Okay. We are working on a time for the release, but my thought was is that I'm going to do a virtual signing for it, and we will not cap the virtual signing. So we will leave it open, and as many people want the book, I just, and here's the thing, I strongly recommend that you buy like two, you know, one for like backup, just in case. So I really expected to get a bit more of Lassiter's backstory, why he's a fallen angel. It was a one or two line, I was being promiscuous, that's not enough. Is there more? Um, yeah, so the, the thing, I, this is a whole outfit over here. Like this is, this is some shit, Jen, what the heck? It's a, yeah, she's like, I went for it. I was like, good, I like that. Um, there is a backstory to Lassiter. Um, I guess I, had, I, I decided to focus the book more on, here was the thing, I knew what happened to Wrath. And that was such a big portion of this book, even though it really is about Lassiter and Raven. So I didn't want to bring in a lot of his backstory. But so, yeah, she's like, but I still want it. Um, so, so I think what, this is another thing that I'd like to do for the e -book, for the uh, email group is just start. And my, my research assistant, who's Scottish and tighter than skin on a tomato, he's like, you can't give content a way like that, you know? And I'm like, yes, I can. Send. <laughs> Bye. Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to doing that, you know, because I did, I did, yeah, I, I, I would like to do, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm, but I'm not running. <laughs> We're not running. We are completely surrounded by absolutely no f***ing running. So it's kind of like a, t maybe a two-part question. You had removed Wrath from where you put him outside of time and space, but you had Raven posing as him, transforming him. Why did you do that? Why did you, if you wanted him out of, out of touch with everybody or everything, why would you have him transformed but keep him away from all that? Okay. So, first of all, I, I didn't actually do anything. This is just what appeared in my head, okay? So, so the whole thing is, is if you think about it from a power structure point of view, the Glymira is reconvening itself. Power is shifting. Lash and Divina are starting to get control of the lessening society, okay? So do you want to destabilize the vampire race by taking the king away? No. That's not logical. Right? So Raven was smart enough to know that if it appeared as though Wrath still existed, then it gave little Wrath enough time to grow up and be able to take the throne. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have to, I feel like this is like an ambulance. <laughs> this will take us all fucking afternoon. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Listen, I feel like I'm an ambulance of, of caring and concern. <laughs> what are you doing to us? <laughs> I actually do have a question, though. Okay, you, have a you do have a question. I actually do have a question. Okay, yes. Oh, you, did, you did Blay and Quinn. Yes. When do you get the lesbians? <laughs> I mean, you did sign our book. That's, that's fair. That's fair. That's totally do you fair. Are you Kelly? Oh, f me. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. I have felt so badly about that. Okay, so here's this lovely married couple, and they write me in, and this lo lovely woman goes, this is for my wife. Her name is Kelly, or no, it was Samantha, and it was from Kelly. And so I said, to Samantha with BDB love from me and your husband. <laughs> and I was like, and so then she, and they were so lovely, they were like, no. Uh, <laughs> and I felt so awful that my unconscious bias like totally slapped a 
into your relationship. It's like, here, have one. And they were like, no, thank you. Uh, so I'm so... <laughs> I am not repeating that shit in front of my mother, his mother, and all of these people. But anyway, I'm so glad I got a chance to personal. I'm so sorry. I felt so no, badly. Don't apologize. I know, but I felt really bad. I tell you what, you can make it up by giving us a two girl story. Okay, I will formally make it up to you by by. I may have, I may have to. I may need tips. Uh, okay. <laughs> she said we are available for consultation. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So first of all, props for running in them hills. So, um, my first question is, when Butch, Dom's V, and Payne's book, where was the conversation between uh, Butch and Marissa about it? It seems like there was just an understanding look between B and M, and then B leaves to go potentially have sex with V, even if it's not what happened between them. We never get to see M's perspective on the situation, but we see Jane's inner thoughts when she's saying she couldn't give V what she needed. Please, can you give us? <laughs> this woman is looking at me like, can you give us? Like, I'm looking at you. Uh, so this is another example of shit that goes on that like I can't fit in, like, like I can't give, if I start giving everyone, like the scene absolutely happened, they talked it through, but if I, if I display it, then we're just like, losing the plot, which I do a lot to be, okay, wait, she's got a finger out. Okay, take her. It's just that I feel like if I was in Marissa's shoes, I would want to be a fly on the wall. Yes. Because Butch is my, he's my jam. And Vicious, Vicious is hers. So, we would like to watch. <laughs> you know? Over here, they're like, so many flies. <laughs> flies everywhere. Um, well, the funny thing is, is when you started to go down this road, I, I, what I stupidly thought would be like, you know, boundaries in a relationship, and how she's, she's like, oh no, 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 she wants to see it, okay. All right, I will take that under advisement. Uh, I don't know whether I'll be able to put it in the email without computers all around the world. Expl yes, sorry. Hi. How are you? Mm. Um, okay, so my question is, with the time jump, is that gonna affect, affect the um, prison books? And are we still gonna get to see Apex and his relationship unfold yes. because I'm super excited about yeah. that. Uh, so Apex and Colum get their own book and it's going to be a Caldwell and Christmas book. Um, so I'd like to introduce you to someone really important to us. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. So um, I, I, I meant to tell, this is, this is my editor. This is our editor, Hannah. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I was going to tell you that, remember how I told you that we, I wanted to write A Bloom in Winter? Uh -huh. It's Alex and Colum's book. Okay, good. Okay. She was like, hey, good. Aces. I said that to Rebecca. She was like, I'm, you'd said that. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. And she was like, yeah, she's going to do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're good. Uh, uh, Apex and Colum get their own book. And it's going to be a Caldwell and Christmas book out probably next year. Okay. Okay. All right. But I wanted you to meet Hannah because she's awesome. And she puts up with my sh and there's a lot of it. Um, okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna go to you, and then I'm going over to that side of the room. Okay, this is this is some shit. God, it blinks, but I, it blinks. It does, and I don't want to like. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, seizures. Wouldn't want, you wouldn't want to get me excited. Exactly. So close to Duncan's mother. Right? I mean, there might be a problem. Yeah. So this question is actually from Annette. Okay. Oh, Annette. 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 Yes. I love Annette. So she. She had actually had four questions. I said, pick one. Okay, okay, okay. Because <laughs> you know she had that list. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm so distracted by your horn. <laughs> you can touch it. <laughs> Thank okay. you. 
It's yours. Do it. Do it. Wear it. No, no, I can't. No, no. Okay. So anyway, so Annette's question is, do we get to see the scene where Wrath reunites with the brothers? Yes. Yes, you get to see the scene. Where, so, so the beloved is about Nala and her conflict with her parents, and it introduces you to the children. Because here's the thing, like, I know that people really want to see the brothers, right? And so by showing their children as adults and where everyone is, it's an opportunity to really organically show where everyone is. So in the beginning of the beloved, what you, one of the things that you see is wrath greeting the brothers, you know? Yeah, and so needless to say, rage has to eat something. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Um, real quick, I would like a cheer for the fact that our favorite golden retriever is never going away. Um, and then my question is with the time jump, since we don't really know about them, are D and L's kids grown? So the question is, is um, uh, Davina and Lash in their kids? Okay, so Davina and Lash have a very on and off again. No, you, you said Davina yeah. and Lash. Oh, last year you said it was Davina and Lash. No, no, mm -mm. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. So they have a very on and off relationship and part of the fun about watching them is the f up, sh no, okay. So this is, like, okay. No, I can't say that. No, I can't say that. Okay, can't, uh, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> You're like, this is a safe space. Um, so one of the things that I love about Davina and Lash is they really are meant to be together and they will have a kid. Um, and you wanna talk about a demon spawn, damn. <laughs> Um, but, but, but they, like, it's going to take them a while. They, it hasn't happened yet because they've been too busy breaking up with each other. Oh, my God, it's you. You're here. I'm so excited to see you. Hi. Would you like to have this? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Okay, so my question has to do with way back in the day in the Insider's Guide, I think it was. We encountered um, the whole vicious Lassiter. They have a history, and he and Lassiter was all like, "Don't say her name." What became of her? Because in this book, it's all like Raven is his one and only love, and I went, "No, she's not." So what's up? Well, okay. So what's up? Um, so keep reading. <laughs> she's like. Damn it! No, it's, it's too much to, I feel like I have to give her this because I let you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a question. Like, what is Raven? Like, where is she from? Um, she has vampire attributes, but she's able to do other things that other spiritual beings that we've met before can do, and she can, you know, bring people back from the dead, et cetera. So what exactly is she? Yeah, no, so Raven is like a half, it's, it's, it's sort of hard to, like, she is half in the creator's world and half in the, I don't want to say human world. Oh, sorry. Am I in your way? Just, just passing through. Hi, how are you? Hi, J.R. Ward. Nice to meet you. Just going. Just, just going to, just. Just wanted to, oh, you're pregnant, Shit. Oh, my God. Oh my God, I'm sorry. She's like, I gotta pee, cause I'm pregnant. Um, I'm so sorry. Well, so far we have and now we've mocked a pregnant lady, so. The aces. Uh, so anyway, so she's half, um, this is another story where I wanna give more background, but I don't think right now she even understands what she is. And so I think what you're gonna see, well, actually I know what's gonna happen. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. By getting two keep readings, you're, you're, this one's like, just tell us. You don't need to tell all them. Um, you, you ask really good questions if you get a keep reading. Okay, I'm ready. Hit me. Please pass this down to that lovely lady. Love, thank you. 
Hi. Uh, will Zypher and Siphon get a happy ever after? Keep reading. <laughs> Keep reading. Uh, we so uh, Keep reading. Uh, uh, but you know these these you know these daughters got to be they got to be hooking up. Okay. Oh, I won't. Is this? I feel like I'm on a surfboard. Um. Oh, I really want to tell you. Oh, I just I can't. Okay. Um, do you want to know who one of my favorite characters? We haven't seen him in a while. Sex? Anyone? I happen to like a good assassin. So this is some shit. Oh my God! Here, hold on. You you should stand up for this because this is some. This is, this is, that is fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. So I have two things. I have a question, and then I have to tell you what I did to Kelly. So I, she wanted no spoilers, and who died? No, no, so, so I called her, and I told her that you had killed Butch. <laughs> she screamed and told me that she would never, ever read another book again. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then my question is, is I know that we've skipped to the time. Are we going to see some of the other brothers and their kids after the time jump? And well, then kind of... Okay, that's, that's the whole series now. So it's like, just like a continuation? It is an exact continuation of the books and the world. It's just that I want to make sure that I can tell the stories of the kids so that the cycle is complete. Okay. And what would what, what, no, a, a, oh, Aggie's born, he's on the planet. You haven't met him, but, but he, he's here. Yep. I wanted to know if at three o'clock, or four o'clock Wednesday morning, you heard me screaming at you and cussing you out. <laughs> I believe it, I, I like the vibes, I'm like, <laughs> no, no, you. I told my mom, I was like, I think she jumped out of bed going, oh my God, someone's cussing me out. Someone's after me because I was mad at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished the book last night. Did you know? <laughs> but, but, but it all worked out, right? Yes. 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 Right? You were lucky because I, I would. I, I told her, I go, if she would have walked in the door today and not fixed it, oh, yeah, yeah. there would have been booze yeah, yeah. through the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. And also, oh. I have a gift for you. And it goes with the cup we got you Squirrel. last time. <laughs> and coming soon, I told you, when I got it done, my book is coming soon. Oh, good. I'm in the works. So you will get one of the first five copies. I would love, I would be honored to read that <laughs> Damn it. First off, I absolutely love you. You are my favorite author, and this is my first event with my mother-in-law, and I am so freaking excited. <laughs> we brought all the moms. We brought all the moms. All the moms are here. Um, so my question is, because you have introduced so many new characters, can we pretty please have an updated insider guide with all of the interviews? Oh, hey! Uh, yeah, no, I think it, I think it's funny because my research assistant actually said that, and except he said it in a in a in a less. Um, he said, "The f are you doing, bringing out these time jump books without having updated the insider's guide? You stupid idiot!" So, <laughs> yes. Can I have a hug. Yes, of course. Come on, girl. I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> and I love you too, mom. <laughs> She's like, thanks. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Oh my gosh, this thing's really live. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Duncan totally beat me out for being a brother oh. as far as the live action thing. Yeah. How do you feel about me as Fred? Yeah, you know. Oh, <laughs> All right. Come on. Okay. All right, come on. All right, come on. Okay. So. We have a candidate for Fritz. He said, I would like to be. So. I 
think it would be great. I think you would be perfect. All right, well listen, I, we're gonna take pictures of you, mother and we're gonna send it to Tosca Musk. There's my mom. Oh, hey! <laughs> okay, so Duncan's mom's over here, my mom's over there, her mom's over here, and this you're his mom, and we got all the moms. And this gentleman mom has there. a question for Fritz. Oh, sorry, okay. We're, over we're, here. Where the f are you? I'm <laughs> Seriously! To your left. Hi. Oh, hey! This gentleman has a question well, for Fritz. Well, give him, uh, here, hold on, here. Oh, okay. Oh, no, this is more towards you about Fritz. Oh. Sorry. No, you make a good Fritz. <laughs> so I'm new to the series. My wife introduced me to it. So I'm only up to Zex and John right now. Oh my God! There's. It's a okay. We read Laster all the way here. The wait, wait, hold on, hold on. There is a small child in the room. <laughs> She's like, don't worry. She saw you in Saratoga. <laughs> I remember her. Yeah, I remember her. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. So with having two children of our own. Oh, bless your heart, yeah. Our, wa our laundry machine is about to break. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, yep, yep. Are the rooms soundproof, and how many dog and take care of the laundry? Because <laughs> there is plenty of laundry going around this Yeah, mansion. there's a lot of laundry. Okay. Yeah, and there's so, <laughs> there's so much laundry in the mansion. There's all kinds of laundry, um, and there's a lot of dog in that work there. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Oh my f***ing Christ. Grape Tootsie Pops. This is the best. Look at that. That is Grape Tootsie Pops. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I totally will. That is so fabulous. Did you have a question? No. <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep calm and ask Fritz. That is awesome. Yeah. What is the one thing that when you're writing that has gone completely to the left that you didn't even see coming until you started writing it? Okay. Um, by the way, it looks like a pink and black chicken <laughs> just got dusted right here. Just all kind, no offense, my dear, you are molting. Uh, <laughs> Um, so here's the thing, uh, these books are, hello, 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 I love press like mother -er. he was one of the ones, he was on the don't run brigade, um, so uh, these, all of these books come to me in pictures that are out of synchronization and chronology, so my job is to put them in a... To, to, to get them in a form where the emotional highs and lows hit correctly. And like sometimes I'll say, oh, X, Y, and Z will be in a book. And then it isn't in the book because I don't, I don't know how far through the pictures I'm gonna get about some of the secondary plots that are happening. So there have been a lot of things that, that surprised me. And I often feel like I'm the first reader, so I feel like if I am surprised, if I'm shocked, if I'm laughing, if I'm nervous, whatever, um, I feel like if I do my job correctly and I present what I see in my head on the page that all y'all can see what I see and feel what I feel. So like when I met Tor and Welsey in Dark Lover, I knew she was gonna die. So that was one of those situations where I wasn't sure whether it happened in the third book. I wasn't sure when exactly it happened, but I knew. But like for example, I didn't know that like Hex and no one were related. I didn't know John Matthews. I didn't know John Matthew was even coming. Like he just saw the sunshine. And I'm like, why is why is she working in a <laughs> prevention hotline? Like I couldn't figure out. And then what is this caller? And so there are lots of twists and turns that happen. And when I went into Lassiter's book, I knew I knew we were headed in some really dark shit, but I didn't know how dark it was going to get. And I was like, I, it was a hard book to get through. It was like kind of like Lover Awakened. It was like a hard book to get through. So yeah, I'm constantly surprised and I, you know, I figure as long as I do my, you, 
you are blinking. There, there, are, there are lights in these feathers that are absolutely amazing. This is great. Okay, my question for you is, may we f***ing please have a brother that does not find a mate because he dreams of a mate that doesn't exist in his world because he's one of us? Oh, a brother who is actually, who is pining for the readers of the Black Dagger Brotherhood. That is some meta sh**. That is some real Deadpool meta sh**. That is not as good as Dopender putting someone in the trunk, but that's pretty good. Thank you. Uh, it's great being here again. Uh, this is my son. <laughs> uh, my question since all the children are getting a book. Is Biddy getting a book as well? Okay. Hi. Awesome. Was anyone else was anyone else surprised at what LW looked like as an adult? I, I was shocked. I was like, because it went because that scene came to me like so Wrath is walking up the stairs towards the study and there's just the crackle of a fire. And as he walks in, you can see the contours of the throne and everything, and you can see like the back of LW's head. And like, I didn't know, I was thinking, and this is what's so cool about the way these books work for me, is like, I was like, I was waiting for him to stand up and look at me. Because like, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I really don't think any of this shit up. Like it really does happen like that. I'm literally, it's like, it's like I'm standing behind Wrath and looking this happen. And then all of a sudden, it gets up and turns around. I was like, oh, damn, okay, so I guess we're there. We're there. Will we get more of a perspective of John Matthew and Flash? Yes, yes. You can expect all kinds of perspectives about all kinds of things, <laughs> including John Matthew and Lash. All right, kind of two-part. Um, when you re-release re uh, Dark Lover, will it be original cover? I told them, I was like, I don't want to re-release it unless it's the original cover, because it's just not, you know, it has to be, yeah. And then are there any children that we don't know of yet? That would be a big yes. Yes, there are children. There are f***ing kids coming out of the f***ing walls. Hello, love. Hi. I see you every year, and I ask this question, but I don't think you've actually answered me. I need a sassy, black, thick girl to be mated to a brother. I need her to be thick. She ain't got to be fat, but she got to be thick. And I need a brother named Mayhem. Mayhem? In the prison camp. Okay, yeah. she's like, bitch, don't you tell her how to write the book. I'm like, ooh, oh, that's her aunt. I was like, I was like, oh, there is some shit going down over there. We may need security, but not for the reason I thought we would. Okay, can I ask you a question? Okay, no, and this is actually, and I know this is one of those things that will give my PR people like a heart attack because I, I, I want to make sure, so, and I, I actually mean, I really do mean this. As a, this is a no shit, Cheryl. I actually wanted to ask someone this, and you are it, motherfucker. Okay. Um, how, as a white author, like, like if I bring like a black female character, like how do I, how do I not culturally appropriate? It's not, it's creative control. You can write whatever you want, honey. You call motherfuckers and everything else. That's, that is true. If but never your aunt. I've always spoken highly of your f***ing aunt. For me, it's one of those, if you're offended, I'm offended that you're f***ing offended. I'm going to do what I want. Okay. If she wants to be sassy, make her sassy. If she wants to be intelligent, make her intelligent. It's creative control. I just, I would love to have somebody that looks like me. But I'm scared because I don't look like you, and what if I do it wrong? And, don't be scared. And you're also not a gay man, but you... Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> that, that is totally true. You are, you're right, you're right. No, that's totally fair. I just don't, like, and to be honest. How many of y'all would like to see a sister? All right, okay. No, no, because. I'm 
just saying, you can use me as inspiration. <laughs> Where, here, can you stand, stand up, stand up? Okay, yeah, this is, this is my girl, this is my girl. We're here, we're here. Uh, do you mind if we put that on YouTube? I don't. Okay, well, no, because, I, and, and I, I'm, I'm actually being really fucking serious. Like, I don't, that's the thing that I've, I've been nervous about, because the shadows are a totally different species, right? So, 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 I just don't want to be disrespect, like what I did to Kelly and her wife. See, do, do you know what I did? I husband Kelly and her f***ing wife. I husband a woman who, who really doesn't need a dick. But see, that's my cousin right there. Hello. Hello. My mother. Hi. How are you? Oh, oh my God, this is her mom. Can everyone who is, who has their mother here, can you have your mother stand up? Everyone, yay! Woo! Woo! We would like to thank you all for bringing your children here. That's the best fucking thing. She's like, oh, this is my aunt, this is my cousin, this is my mother. Okay. Yeah, I just brought my whole family, but. What? Oh! <laughs> Where are you? Where's your dad? Oh my God. We have one father. Sir, could you please stand up? Woo! Yeah! Woo! All right. All right, that's good. Well, listen, I, and I don't mean to put my white fragility onto you, but you, I just really don't. I just don't want to be disrespectful, that's all. Well, growing up as a mixed child in an all-white neighborhood, honey, you're not going to offend nobody if you just present her as you would a white woman. Okay. So she, she, have, she can have attitude. She can be smart. Like I said, she can be resilient. But I really want one that's going to put the brother in check. Okay, all right, okay. Well, I feel like I have a f***ing mandate now, and I am ready. I'm ready. And I really, I seriously, I do appreciate that because I've wanted to... I just don't, I, listen, I am perfectly capable of putting my motherfucking foot in my mouth, and I just don't want to do it. Oh my God, she's got a Golden Girls shirt on. Dorothy in the streets, Blanche in the sheets. So, hi, first of all, I'm new to the BDB world uh, since August. I've literally gone through the entire roller coaster since then. Um, I know it's not you, but thank you very much for the tears in Lassiter. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, my question is for Lassiter, not any spoilers, but the wedding scene involving who was the lead like person that pushed for that? Because I almost happy teared with just oh, everything okay. about it. Like, well, yeah, so, so she's, listen, we've already spoiled the whole f***ing book, so, okay. Down in the front over there, I can't get to you, so you're just gonna have to hug each other and hold on. Um, so, I, the funniest thing was it was Vicious, who put, I, who put the, and this is what drives me crazy about that son of a bitch, is he can be so, he's so annoying, and I hate when he shows up in my head because he's just like grating. He's like, oh my God, he's so annoying, and he hates me, and I hate him, and he doesn't wanna talk to me. And he shows up in the books all the time. Um, but yeah, he can be so thoughtful in, in like ways that you don't see coming, you know? Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. Dorothy and Blanche. So this is about forever. Um, not a question, but I wanted to say thank you. Um, my husband had cancer and um, it has affected him in other ways. And it was a good reminder for me of the things I need to be aware of with him. So thank you. Can we just can we just say f cancer for real? Yeah, yeah, cancer sucks. I fucking hate cancer. It just really. You have balls of steel, woman. I'm telling you right now. I was like, well, you put your hand up, motherfucker. Were you looking for a bus? <laughs>